It's a 1983 Zimmer Golden Spirit, mm -hmm. built in a factory in Pompano Beach, Florida. It is not a kit car. Very good. That car brand new in 1983 was $120,000. The man paid for it. Very nice. Uh, it's powered by a five liter Mustang motor transmission and rear end under that fancy neo classic body. Yes. And that's uh, pretty much the story of the car. This is car 526 out of the 1,400 that were built from 1980 to 1988. Okay. So that pretty well tells the story of it. All right, well, if you could pop the hood for me and we can sure. take a look under the hood and, and start oh, it up I here. It's so, so I much fun. Say all that. I never seen What's that? What condition was it in when you acquired it? It looked like a piece of shit when I got it. And you did? Yeah, <laughs> most, of these, most of these did. Yeah. That's what I'm so amazed at. So how long ago did you get it? Two and a half years ago. Oh, really? Uh, the story we were told, we found it not in Auto Trader magazine. Oh. And uh, the person we talked with said the car sat outside for three years in Bloomfield, Michigan. Oh my gosh. The old man that owned it had a stroke and couldn't get it, uh, nobody could get it back in the garage. His wife was scared to death of it. Oh wow. So it sat out in the cold and the ice. Well, this is fiberglass except for the doors. Put front and back, the uh -huh. top's not fiberglass, but the ice just peeled the paint off in it like poker chips. It looked horrible. Wow. And, uh, and was so he we, one of the original owners? Or? As far as I know. He was. And then you got it. So you like, I have, as yeah, far as you I, know. I think I'm the third owner of the vehicle. You do? Uh huh. Wow, this but, is phenomenal. Uh, so, what did you um, end up paying for it when you got it from him? Well, I bought it back there and had it shipped out here. It was 11000 and 1100 more to get it shipped out here. And then, accidentally, $1,800 more stuck to it after it got here. <laughs> oh, no. oh, like owning a boat. Yes. Yeah. You know, you throw money at it and it sticks. <laughs> well, pop the hood if you wouldn't mind before you start it. Do it. Okay. Right. Let's open the hood before we start it. I mean, look at these tires and everything. Where are you from? Uh, Linwood, Lake Stream. Oh, really? Wow. Look, this is a phenomenal car. I mean, I thought it was a kit car. Have you ever seen it? No, it's not a kit car. No, it's yeah, definitely not a kit car. I mean, it's just so rare. I've never seen one, so I thought maybe it was. And it's usually a and this color like scheme, we came uh -huh. up with. Oh, you it was did. all white when it got here. It was ugly. Oh, wow. So this is a work in progress. James guy. So, yeah, so you got to be darn careful when you're driving oh, this, baby. Don't get no, no curves. It don't get no say, near nothing. I bet. Oh, it sure runs sweet. And when it got here, it was very quiet. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the guys said, you can't have to drive that car like that. And I said, oh, why can't I? <laughs> and he said, it's too quiet. And I said, well, for what? He said, well, old folks have to be able to hear it. So I said, there you go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Good gracious. Oh, how but I have a, oh my God. So that you don't is, open the port. That's a piece of art. That is absolutely well, Thank good. you. And what's the, like, so you put a new engine and everything, didn't you? The that original piece? motor, the car's only got 55,000 oh, actual miles on it. Kidding. No, it's still oh, a 1983 God. car with 55,000 miles on it. Now that is amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So, oh my gosh, I just can't even imagine having something like Oh. Uh, now can I put the hood down? Absolutely. KeeperTheMountain.com